Welcome back everyone, my name is Adam Durnford and today we're making fish and chips. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up some home fries. So potatoes, they're washed, as you can see. I'm just going to cut them in even slices. I cut off the bottom to make it easier so it doesn't like wobble around on you. I'm going to slice them. It can be as thick as you want them. But, you know, try to keep it even. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. Strain the fries. Give them a little zhuzh. I'm gonna rinse and dry out my bowl a little bit. And then we're gonna line it with paper towel. Just to get the fries extra dry before they go into the deep fryer. Toss them around. Now, we have a deep fryer warming up. I had to take this out last night, clean it up and everything because I don't use a deep fryer very often. When you're cooking, just like a handful, or maybe two handfuls, depending on how big your hand is, but just half fill the basket, and then drop it down, let it cook for seven minutes. But you wanna take them out of the deep fryer, or let the oil drip off, and then put them in a, another bowl lined with paper towel because you were gonna have to finish them off when you're ready to eat. One way to test to see if they're done, if you're not sure, is give them a little pinch. These are not quite ready, so they'll have to go down for another minute. If they squish, oh wait, they're ready. If they squish like that, they're done. One and one quarter cups of flour. One quarter cup of baking powder. Obviously, some fish milk about one eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of salt, one cup of water, one cup of milk, and flour for dredging. With your one and one quarter cup of flour in a bowl, we're just gonna add the baking powder, garlic, pepper, and salt. Whisk that together, like so. Then we're just going to add our milk and our water. And whisk until you get a smooth batter. And one way to test to see if you have a good batter is if it forms a coating on your finger like so. So, I have the deep fryer with the basket taken out so that it has more room for the fish because it's a very tiny deep fryer. Uh, I'm gonna dip the fish in the flour and then in the batter and I'll show you what to do when you're putting it in the deep fryer. So, I have the flour on the fish. Notice that it's just like a thin coating of flour. I'm gonna dip it into the batter. And you only want a thin coat. We're gonna let this drain off a little bit before it goes into the deep fryer because you don't want too much batter. Just lay it right in there. Slowly, let it go. So once it gets golden brown on one side, you can take a utensil, flip it over. Let it cook for another couple minutes on this side. There you go. Golden brown piece of fish. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay it in the basket like this to let the oil drain, like so. And then we repeat the process. Finish off by crisping up your fries one last time. It usually takes about five minutes in the deep fryer. There you go, we got some fish and chips. We made fresh fries, fresh batter, fresh fish. All great ingredients come together in one joyous Newfoundland dish. Subscribe to my channel. Check me out on uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that fun stuff. I got links down below. Come back for more great recipes and subscribe to my channel. I already said that. Hit that like button too and share it.